Hello and welcome back to our Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Emerald. Very excited to be back, as always. Uh, we are right here where we left off in Flannery's gym. We are four badges in. I still can't believe it. Look at this. Halfway there. Kind of. <laughs> Excluding whatever story beats and Elite Four stuff going on. Uh, real quick, go over the rules. Uh, per Nuzla Tradition, Permadeath, and one Pokemon per area. We count an area as when the map changes. The Duplicate Clause means that if we run into something we've already caught, we can try again in that area until it's something we haven't seen before, which kind of helps us. Um, it will actually kind of hurt us once we get Surf because I did a little bit of research, and pretty much everything you find via Surfing is like, Tentacle or someone else we already have. So we won't be able to find too many new friends on the water routes, but once we get a new fishing rod, we should actually be okay. Um, and that has helped us more than it's hurt us. So uh, I, I like that rule personally. I'm also, uh, some people asked, I'm counting duplicates as like the entire uh, evolutionary track of a Pokemon. So like, Let's say we caught a Rattata, and that Rattata fainted, and we lost that Rattata. If we encountered Eradicate, we couldn't catch the Eradicate, because that counts as, like, Rattata. That's something I've kind of added, just to just to make it, like, a little bit more fair. Um, things that are making it a little bit harder, we're playing in set mode. Uh, if we white out, if we lose our team, even if we have reserves on the bench, that's game over. Nicknames, of course, do that anyway. And, uh... <laughs> The HM scenario we have, so basically if, if we need an HM, we can use it no matter if they're alive or dead, we just can't use them in battle. What's ended up happening is for some reason everyone who learns an HM is like cursed to die. And then we have to like rely on ghosts to cut bushes and move rocks, so... Kind of a kind of a weird uh, story beat there, but those are the rules. Hey, thanks for joining me. Um, those in chat, let me know how audio is, as always. It should be the same as last time. Uh, goodbye, Flannery. Thanks for a tough battle. Oh, that was not the right way. Also, once again, congrats to MVP Apollo. Just, like, wiping the fire gem. He is the sun, so, you know, not a huge surprise. Oh, my God. It's May. Awesome, thanks for verifying. Please don't surprise battle me. Oh, hell yeah. We can go into the desert now. Yeah. Yeah, go find my dad. Give me a second to heal. Awesome, so now... Okay, so... This is another thing I know. Um... Because when we were preparing for the dreaded third gym, the the third gym in Mulville with electric type, I was looking at what our potential new friends could be, and I was like, oh, in Route 111, there's like all these awesome ground types and just like generally good Pokemon, and of course we can't go there until after the fourth gym, so it didn't really help us out immediately, but. I know for a fact that in that route, Route 111, which we haven't gone to yet, I, I just want to double check. But basically, that route is awesome. Like, anyone we find there is going to be great, which I'm very, very excited about. Oh yeah, while we're here, I might want to cycle, cycle out and around the team. I think... Okay, wait, so who's on the bench? It's Sammy, it's Porco. Bar I, I want to put Bard back on the team. And I kind of want to put... I'm debating if we... If we put Captain or Miratot on the bench. I think we put Captain. Captain is a great Pokemon, but doesn't know any good moves currently. Um, I could definitely see them being someone we cycle in and out, depending on what we're up against. Um, but I think I'd rather have Bard, especially because we're about to catch someone, and Bard is, like, our, our, uh, MVP for 
helping catch Pokemon. So I'm gonna put Captain on the bench. And I'm gonna withdraw Bard. Welcome back, Bard. Okay, and... Did Captain have any items on him? Good morning. Thanks for joining me. I'm just, uh, shuffling around the team. What do you got on your Captain? No items, okay. Let's get everyone close together. All hang out on the bench, the bench buddies. This- <laughs> I want a Saturday morning cartoon starring It's Sammy, Porco, Captain, and an Egg. You had a cat named Captain? That's awesome. Yeah, Captain Captain rules. I think um, as the game progresses, we'll use Captain, but I think for right now... For right now, I think I'd rather have Bard. So yeah, uh, and let's uh... Hey Brendan! Hello everyone! Hope you're enjoying this lovely Wednesday. The day when it's Sammy is able to be used will be a good day, blessed by their presence. <laughs> I think so too. Uh, okay, let's uh, so Captain is on the bench. And uh, we got Bard back. Oh my god, look at that! They even shared the same spot. I don't have to move them. Perfect. Good morning! I'm so happy you're all here. Okay, so I think... Let's stock up. We got a lot more money now after, after beating Flannery. Let's go to the marketplace. We can also use strength now, which is cool. Yeah, I miss bar too. Uh, all right, let's get some... Do you not sell great balls? Oh, you do. Let's buy four. Oh, that's all our money. <laughs> Whoops. I spent all my money on great balls. Can never have too many. We're like approaching the time when I think ultra balls will be in our reality, which is kind of exciting. Because, like, for a while, Great Balls were, like, so much more powerful than what we could catch. Now it's, like, we kind of need Great Balls. Okay, so the thing is... We now can use Strength. And I know there's a rock in here. And I just want to see what's behind it. Oh my god, I love coughing. Coughing would have been a fun addition. Poison type? Underrated. I'm into poison types. You know who can move it? Tony. Yeah. Uh, this is tricky. I see. I see. Grimer! Blast from the past. I like this sprite of Grimer, because it looks like he's trying to say hi. Muck was a, uh, a really good... Kind of because, like, the game was sort of broken, but... Muck was really good in Red and Blue, I remember. I had, like, an incredible Muck. Speaking of Muck... Oh my god, Toxic is such a good move. That is such a good move. We gotta be careful with this TM, because this is a really good move. If I didn't make that abundantly clear already. Hi, I'm an abomination. <laughs> Everyone can learn it. Okay, so... The easy choice is Bard, because Bard is kind of like... All about defense and such. I'm gonna give it to Bard as like a welcome back present. Cause Bard is kinda tanky. Yeah, I think we can get rid of uh, Acid, maybe? And teach Toxic. Yeah, I think, I think that's good.
We really want to find a leaf stone eventually so we can evolve uh, Bard into a vile plume. Why is Grimer suddenly my favorite tertiary character in this stream? <laughs> he was just saying hi. Man, there were a lot of good. I'm glad we got Mirror Todd. Honestly, Torkoal seems to be like the catch of this area. But a Grimer would have had so much personality. Or a coughing. Coughing and Grimer have big, like, Muppet energy in a good way. I like coughing more than wheezing, though. I wish wheezing didn't look so sad. Alright, there's another little puzzle here. Slugma? Not into. Something that Slugma looks like if you left a bag of Cheetos in, in the sun for like 10 years. No, thank you. I think we actually just moved this one right. Slugma is just hot Grimer. <laughs> Firestone! Fun! We can't really use that, but I'm glad we have it in case we get like an Eevee or something. I'm not sure who else needs a Firestone to evolve. Okay. Good, good errand. Good sojourn. For those who want to do a Nuzlocke of Emeralds, this cave rules. Like, everyone you can get in this cave is a good addition. Machop, Slugma. Maybe Slugma not as much, but like everyone else, really good. We've really lucked out with the Torkoal. Torkoal's like not showing up at all. Sword and Shield wheezing as a smoke top hat. Yeah, I liked the like capitalist cartoon wheezing. They were steel and fairy type, which is like so weird. Um. Fairy type is pretty cool. I like uh, I like Sylveon a lot. Big Lisa Frank energy from Sylveon. And I like how they made some Pokemon from the past fairy type. Like, I think Gardevoir is psychic and fairy, which is cool. Uh, Jigglypuff is fairy type, which is cool. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure... That we didn't catch. I don't think there was any w any place to catch anyone on Route 111 until now. Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're good. Okay, cool. Route 111. All right. So actually my, even though Bard is like the one we used to catch, I'm a little bit nervous about using them because a lot of the Pokemon here are ground type. And I believe ground type is weak, or rather ground type is strong against grass type. But I, I always forget, ground always confuses me. Uh, okay, um... Oh, it's the opposite! Oh wait, no, hold on. Yeah, it is, it's, uh... Grass ticks half against ground. Okay. It, it takes twice damage from bug, fire, flying, ice, and poison. Gotcha. Alright. Thank you, Bulbapedia. Time for a new friend, yes, exactly. So again, this area, like, anyone is good. I'm actually going to put Bard out, because I'm less concerned now. Hope you get the guy that looks like the ultimate Chimera from Mother 3. Yes! That's exactly who I want. I know exactly who you're talking about. Okay, cool. I'm going to... But I have an open heart. Again, literally anyone, and I mean anyone in this area is good. 
So let's see who we got. I'm so excited. Alright, this is it. Unless it's a dupe. Oh my god, it's who I wanted! Yeah! Trap Inch. This thing becomes Flygon, who is awesome. Okay, we put it to sleep. Already good, off to a good start. Um, Sandstorm rages. I imagine we'll have to hurt it a little bit, so let's just try while it's asleep, though. Um, we have a timer ball as well, which is cool, because if it takes a long time, or if we run out of great, ball, great balls for some reason, we could do a timer ball. Alright, come on. Oh my god, we did it! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, we got... Oh, yes, this is such a good addition to our team. So I know what you're thinking. Ant Pit Pokemon? Why are you so excited? This little guy evolves into Flygon, who is Dragon and Ground-type, and is like one of my favorite Pokemon. Its big jaws crunch through boulders. Because its head is so big, it has a hard time getting back upright if it tips over onto its back. Same. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh my god, it look wait. It looks shiny in the in the sprite. I don't think that's correct though. What's a good dragon name? What's a cool dragon name? I'm gonna Google cool dragon names. What's a cool name for a dragon, Google? <laughs> 65 cool dragon ideas. Cool dragon names. No, not Smaug. That's so simple. Falcor? Ooh, that could be fun. Popular dragons. Let's see this. List of dragons in popular culture. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm the worst. I can't believe the dragon in, in Song of Ice and Fire is named Drogon. Like, really? Hmm. It's named after Cal Drago. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. All right, let me uh, let me use my own imagination. What if this dragon was named? Well, if if Drogon is named after Cal Drago, I'm gonna name this dragon after me. And my last name. Welcome to the team, Hilgon. Hilgon. A bit vain, but honestly, Hilgon means a lot to us. I'm glad you all like Hilgon. We're immediately putting them on our team. We've got to go back. Oh, wait, we can actually just go to, uh, we can go to the Marvel City. We don't have to go back to Lava Ridge. Hilgon, Hilgon, Hilgon. <laughs> Hilgon also kind of has like Digimon energy, I feel. Alright. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for your hard work, Tony. Okay. So we want Hillgun on the team. The question is, who do we take off the team? I think Mira Todd, personally. Let's look at this. Bard, Bard, I think we need. And I, I'd like to, you know, 
we need a good grass type and we got one. Apollo is such like a kind of a niche Pokemon, but like can be so helpful in the right circumstances. Like Levitate, great ability, Rock Psychic, really good typing, especially for our team. Um, Ichiban we need, Shenzi we absolutely need, Tony we need. I think it's Mirror Todd. Yeah, I think Mirror Todd goes to the bench currently. He'll be back. He'll be back, don't worry. Because I think what fire is good against steel, grass, poison. Other than steel, I think we kind of got everything covered. Miratod's a good tank. Yeah, we'll we'll you know we'll cycle them out. But we need hill gun. Yes. Arena trap prevents fleeing. That's interesting. Mild nature. And it knows bite, sand attack, and faint attack. Cool. Amazing. Alright, let's quickly uh, get some art of Trap Inch to put on the bottom of the screen. You know the drill by now. Alright, give me one sec. Okay, we're back. It's everyone's favorite part of the episode where we get a new friend that's huge for a second. But honestly, Hillgun is huge. Huge news for us. There he is. Now let's quickly make Mira Todd invisible. There we go. It's a little, little smaller. Like there, that should be good. Perfect. Amazing. He should have stayed that big. <laughs> I really like, uh, I love like every stage of this Pokemon, personally. Um, just a really good, really good Pokemon. They evolve at level 35, and then again at 45, which is kind of weird. Let's get in the experience share. They're kind of our new Ichiban, where, like, we're probably not going to use them a lot right away, but they will become a powerhouse eventually. Cool. Okay, now let's switch back. Actually, I think we could probably keep Bard out front. No, no, no. Uh... Oh yeah, I think we can, we'll be okay. Um, yes. <clears throat> Oops. No. Okay. Having some tea. We're good to go. Uh, do we, no, we don't have any more money. Okay. Back to Route 111. Exciting. I'm not sure what's next. I know, um, I know Dad Norman is the next gym leader. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Geodude. I'm so glad we didn't run into Geodude by accident on our way to... That would have sucked so much. I mean, Geodude's fine, but... You know, we got Hillgon. I'm actually gonna quickly... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna keep Bard out, because I think they should get some experience. But I'm, like, waiting for, like, a good... Grass attack, you know? Stardust. Is that a sellable thing?
Mirage Tower. That's fun. Ooh. Ball toy. This is another uh, another potentially good addition to our team. Uh, I want to put in Shenzi. Oh my god, fuck. Alright, thank Christ. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Alright, let's let's put point taken. Let's put Shenzi out first. <laughs> my my heart is pounding. Have a soda pop after that. Ugh. Ooh, this music is cool. Honestly, once we get uh, Hill gone up a few levels, we might want to also put the experience share on, um, oops, on Bard for a bit, because they don't really have like a ton of great attacks yet. Like I want to get, like once they know Mega Drain, that's going to be awesome. Sandshrew. There were also Sandshrew here, which I would have been very happy with as well. It was Sandshrew, uh, the uh, Baltoy, I believe it's called. Um, Hillgun, or who who is Trap Inch? And there was a Cactus Pokemon as well. Come on! Ugh. There we go. That's what I like to see, Shenzi. Ball toy scares me. But it is psychic type, and Bite's gonna destroy it. Bye bye. Sorry, Heidi. Do we have any super potions? We do. We have nine. Alright, I should be a bit more frugal with them, I guess, but, you know. What else is going on down here? Got a lot of trainers. I like this song. So I'm just checking my phone real quick. All right, cool. We're good. I heard there are... F Ooh, there are fossils here. That's fun. I don't know what the fossil Pokemon are. Will I ever do Emerald Kaizo? What does that mean? Is that a different kind of Nuzlocke run? Meryl. I love how much we overleveled Shenzi. Like, <laughs> well, not. I, I actually shouldn't say that because they are basically the same level as the uh, the gym leader Torkoal. So, but still, it helps. Helps to have a level 31 Pokemon. Who do you think is the Nuzlocke mascot right now? Like emblematic of the run so far? It's a great question. On my team. There are a few candidates on my team. I, I honestly, my gut, my gut choice is Tony, because I think Tony is like exactly what you want secretly out of a Nuzlocke run, where it's like, here's a Pokemon I probably would not have used that has become like 
the star of the stream and one of my best Pokemon, weirdly. <laughs> so I'd say I would say Tony is uh, currently the mascot. Although Ichiban too, I mean, you know, the the rise and fall of Gyarados and Magikarp, very uh, on brand. And I mean, Shenzi's been there since like day one. So I would say those three have a deep connection to the run. But I'm curious what you all think. <sighs> Ball toy. Self destruct, right? Very cool. Oh man, I want to get like my bearings straight. Oops. Apollo, Rock, Sun, and Prophecy in music. <laughs> Ruin, Maniac, Dusty. Sand Slash, okay. I see you. If you use Lotad's final evolution, they'll be uh, the Nuzlocke mascot, or icon. I trust you. I can see that. Uh, let's do Bite. Oh shit. Um, you know what I'm gonna do here? Because I'm a little bit nervous about this attack. I wanna switch to Apollo, who is not hit by ground type moves. Yeah, there we go. That move, that, that levitate ability is incredible. So good. Because I know Earthquake is like a nightmare. Then we can just avoid it entirely. Hell yeah, Apollo. Sand Slash is awesome. One of my favorites. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Hill Gun. Sorry, Dusty. All right, I'm gonna quickly uh, thank you. Um, I'm gonna quickly use a repel. I want to make sure I'm like going the right way and stuff. Oh shit! <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, I guess this this route seems to go farther south than north, but there's also stuff going on north. Let's go north first. Uh, yeah, we're we're okay. Hello. Yeah, the sandstorm is rough. Hello. Bow. Ball toy. <sighs> I like um a low end sand slash as well, the ice type. That was a pretty cool change up. I like these sprites that are just Pokemon saying hi, like Grimer and Sandshrew. Bye bye. Ball toy. Ball toy is cool. I feel like, um,. Similar kind of to Apollo with the psychic and well Apollo's psychic and, psychic and rock type and Baltoy is psychic and ground type. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really, really glad we got Trap Inch. Yeah, I love that Sandshrew Sprite. It's really cute. Uh, okay. Super Potion. Yeah, do Sand Slash does feel like a middle evolution, but I think I think sometimes you want to want more, you know? Like, as much as I would love Skarmory to have an evolution, I don't know if I actually want it. Oh, weird. Oh, shit. Wait, where are we now? Oh, this is, uh... Whoops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going the wrong way. I think we gotta go... Oh, no, we do gotta go... North. Yeah. I was confused because there's, like, a bunch of trainers everywhere. Let's, let's fight all the trainers while we're here. Um, I'm gonna go back south. Yeah, we got, uh... I was trying to think of a good dragon name, because they become, uh, Flygon. Which is a cool dragon. And, uh... I was looking up fictional names for dragons, and I came across Drogon from Game of Thrones. Which apparently is named after Cal Drago. So I named it after myself. More scary. <laughs> uh, okay. Did we fight you yet? We did. That's where we came in. There's another one. Yeah, what a, wait, what ability does, does our Trap Inch have? We have Arena Trap. That might change too as we evolve. <laughs> That's very funny. You like need Go Goggles to be here. I'm wondering if this whole area is just like optional or if there's something to do here before we face Dad Norman. Either way, I think we should definitely check out what's here. And if Mirage Tower has some Pokemon there as well, that could be cool. Although we're in a pretty good place just to like train, you know? Like I, I think we've got a really good team. Like we actually have options, knock on wood. Lombre. I like Lombre's sprite a lot too, the kind of proud expression. Alright. I think the sandstorm hits... Uh... Oh my god, wait. Oh, thank Christ. That was terrifying. Oh my god. Die. I hate to be that negative, but like, that was terrifying. Hell yeah, he'll gone. Alright. Let's heal Shenzi. Wow, that was really scary. Although I guess I shouldn't be too worried, because I don't think Lombre's attack is very high. And they're grass and water type, so... They don't have like a stab or anything for Earthquake. But still, you see Earthquake, you get scared, right? It's a scary move to have used, used against you. Hello. How tough are you? It's no secret, man. Ruin Maniac Brian. What a name. Sandshrew. Shinzi.
The next gym leader is normal type. Which, uh... Doesn't sound super threatening, but... It can actually be very difficult, because... Based on uh, what this game has been throwing at us, I imagine there's some meta strategies going on. And also, normal type Pokemon tend to have really wide move pools, so like... We'll have to... Yeah. I know some people don't like doing um, research ahead of time for a Nuzlocke run. I don't really mind it if I if I am worried about a fight, just to like prepare, you know. We only have so many options. It's not gonna like give us a huge advantage, <laughs> you know. We're still limited in, in who we can use. Shenzigri level thirty-two. Scary face. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, sharply reduces speed. It's a really good attack. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Odor Sleuth, I think. I think Scary Face is better. Hell yeah. Once Shenzi knows Crunch, she's gonna be even more powerful. Between being dark type and the black glasses that boost dark type attacks. Oh my god. Uh, do we have an antidote? We do. Nuzlocke tip. Get way too many antidotes. You never know. It's interesting that... That Trap Inch evolves at 35 and then at 45. Like, it feels like such a late evolution, and then there's like a 10 level interim. It's kind of weird. Is this Mirage Tower? Probably, but like, it's not up yet. Ball toy. Ball toy, ball toy seems like very common here. Which is good, because there aren't many psychic types in this game. So if you're looking for one for your Nuzlocke run, this is the place. Or get a zoo that early on, so you can do what I did and get Soul Rock. Alright. Oh, hell yeah. That actually would be a great move for. Hillgun. Yes. Hell yeah. Let's save real quick. So what's... Is this whole route just like an optional thing? Or is there something north of us? Yeah, we've already been there. Uh, okay. Well, let's just head north and see what happens. I'm gonna use another repel. I think there are a few more trainers we haven't fought. Da, da, da. This is like, <laughs> this is absolutely Mirage Tower. Is there a way to like activate it? Huh, weird. Go goggles look better. Camper Drew. I used to like using uh, Hippodon. Because they had an ability that just like made it immediately start sandstorming. Which is kind of helpful.
Shenzi's got 100 HP. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, cool. Well... Yeah, weather teams are awesome. Actually, I think uh, if you use sunny day, or if it's sunny out in a match, um, any any Pokemon can use solar flare like in one turn, I believe. Camper Drew posts on Wall Street bets daily. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Um. Well, here's a secret hideout for those who missed it last time. We got a Trico doll, we got a Lotad doll. It's a cool spot, to be honest. Um, let's go heal up at this house here. Thank you. We're good. Uh, let's check on the TV, see what's going on. Huh, okay. I wonder if we, uh... If we go back to Dad. The only direction we were given is we were given the goggles by May. Oh, and then she said, I'm gonna go fight your dad. <laughs> see, I guess this, this whole little area is just kind of optional. Which is cool. I'm into that. I mean, I'm glad we went. We got hill gun. And it's definitely a good area to train. Um, whoops. Well, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is another good one. Cacnea. Um, their grass and... Or at least their evolution is grass and dark type, which is cool. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back to the town that my dad is a gym leader at. And just like see what's up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Mirage Tower, here it is. This is exciting. Cool, wait, let me just, uh, I forgot to write down that we got on 111, we got Hillgun, who is a trap inch. I have a, a note that just writes down all the areas. Okay, now we're in, what is it called? Mirage Tower? Mirage Tower, we're here. Uh, let's... I'm gonna keep Shenzi out just to be safe. Just to be safe. Because I don't know what's here. Um, but we'll find out soon. Maybe nothing. Oh! I take it back. Who's it gonna be? Oh, Sandshrew! Hell yeah! Hello, Sanshu. Let's use Swagger on you. Just to do a little damage. Yeah, go for it. Welcome to the team. Hell yeah. When it curls up in a ball, it can make any attack bounce off harmlessly. Its hide is turned tough and solid as a result of living in the desert. What's a good name for Sand Shrew? Sand 
Sandpaper? Come on. <laughs> and welcome to the team, Andrew. Andrew. Hell yeah. Cool. I'm totally down for having a sand shrew. Um, I don't know if we're going to put them on our team quite yet, but that's a really good one to have on the bench. We got options, friends. We have options. Isn't that amazing? Remember when we had a Magikarp? <laughs> and that was it? Those were our options? Did we heal? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Hello. Oh, there are trap pitches in here, too. That's cool. I'm into that. Actually, it might be worth looking. Is Mirage Tower, like, home of a legendary or something? I don't want to walk blindly into a trap or anything. Let me look that up real quick. <laughs> My Google history was popular dragons. Uh, all right, Mirage Tower, what's going on here? Where is this place? Oh, this is where the fossil is, it looks like. And it's just Sandshrew and Trap Inches, which is kind of interesting. Cool, I'll take a fossil. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Oh shit. Uh, well, if you can't beat him, join him. Trap Inch. It's a good place to train too, because they're level 22, but they're not really super Super threatening, you know? Alright. Cool. I think we might have to go down the broken floor, right? <laughs> Whoops. Weird. Is it to go this way? No, there's no way to go. Or is it like only some of the floor breaks? Is that what's going on? Experience share is a lifesaver. Alright, what's the deal here? What am I supposed to do? Do I need an item? Is that what's going on? Do I need, like, the tiptoe? Also, more good news, uh, once we beat Dad Norman, the fifth gym leader, we get Surf, which is going to help us out a lot in every, every possible way. We can teach that to Ichiban and Captain, we can Surf around, it's great. Alright, I think, uh... uh Hello, Trap Inch. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do we like? I need to use a repel again and to see. If there's a way to get past here. As much as I love training, 
kind of wanted to see what's going on with this puzzle. If it even is a puzzle. Alright, I think... I think we need an item or something, so I'm gonna leave. Bye-bye. But, you know, we'll go back. One day. <clears throat> and I'm gonna head to the town where my dad is a gym leader. Norman. See what he's up to. I don't, never, I don't think we're gonna take him on just yet, but... Just see if there's like a story beat happening or something. Cause where does he uh where's he at? Where's dad? Verdant Turf Town. Rustboro is where Roxanne taught, I think. You know what, I'm actually going to quickly look up where I should be going. I know it's up to me, largely, but like... Why not? This Also, this song is my favorite, so like... Partially selfish. Da 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 da... Thank you, Bulbapedia. Okay, cool. We are on what Bulbapedia considers part 8. So we're basically halfway through, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, the, the desert is optional. The Mirage Tower is optional. Back to Petalburg City. Cool. There are multiple ways to get there. We could head northwest around the volcano. It's a fall labor town. Excuse me, fall larbor town. Oh... Okay, let's do that. That works. Although... Oh, I just hit my mic again. <laughs> I'm wondering, and I, I would actually love chat's insight on this. I'm wondering if maybe instead of going back to, to uh, Petalburg so soon, we might want to just, like, train in the desert for a bit, you know? Because, like... I don't think there are a lot of great areas to train way back in, uh, in Petalburg, which is here. See, I think we, I think we train in the desert for a bit. And while, while we're here, let me see if I can, uh, if I can see what the deal with Mirage Tower is. Oh, weird. Okay, so if we go over the, if we go over the cracked floor with our bike, it doesn't break. Who the hell would have known that? <laughs> if I see, if I see fragile flooring, I'm like, let me use my bike instead. What? All right, that's a Mirage Tower. We'll train there a bit. We'll get a fossil, and then we'll, uh, we'll roll with the punches. Hello, Geo, dude. Thanks for not showing up when it was technically the first encounter of Route 111. I would have been devastated. And even though Golem's cool, we wouldn't have been able, we wouldn't have even been able to get Golem because we have to trade to evolve Graveler. So see you in hell. Bye bye. Okay. Da 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 da. Is Mirage Tower gone? Outspeed the fragile flooring. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. What I'm worried about now is that, like, Mirage Tower has disappeared. <laughs> but it seems just to kind of... You know, if it does, it does. We're also training, so whatever. We can go back and forth. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right. It's probably better to train in the tower as well because we don't have to worry about the sand storm. 
Uh, alright. Balto, eh? Nice to see you again. Yeah, this game was so pumped to incorporate weather. They're like, we're on the Game Boy Advance now. We can show weather in a way that means something. It's cool. I'm, I'm into it. <clears throat> I love this game. I think I said this on the show, but I think uh, second to Gen 2, this is my favorite. Whoops. Okay, I think, uh... I might leave the desert and come back to see if the tower reappears. I think that's how it works. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to just, like, randomly show up. And it should be, like, around here somewhere. So, we will try again. Where did it show up last time? Was it like... It wasn't up here, it was down, it was down here. Oh shit. <laughs> Camper Brandon. Taylo. Rest in peace, Sedith. Leaf. Uh, I don't like this. I might want to switch. Okay, that was fine. Oh no, this thing is grass and dark type, I believe. My god. So I don't think we should switch in Apollo. Go for it. Do your thing. It's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> you don't know what's at stake, Brandon. This is not... This is not, you know, your everyday Pokemon run. A save. Four badges. 27 Pokemon. Ugh, that's a haunting number. I think it counts evolutions. Alright, so it's not there yet. It seemed just to appear, like, here, like, around this guy. What does he have to say? Oh, okay, I think, I think it pops up there, randomly. I hope it's not like super rare. He has been looking for it for 30 years. Okay, wait. <laughs> let's uh let's look up how to find this place. Oh, it disappears and reappears as you leave the route. Okay, so I think we gotta like go a little farther. Alright, that's a little tedious, but it's kind of fun. Let's go west. Yeah. 
This is the quickest way to do it. There it is. It's back. We are back in Mirage Tower. What? <laughs> oh, then we actually have to go really fast. All right, this is so silly. But at the very least, it's good training. Ba 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 ba. Good job, Shenzi. Alright. Alright, enough fun and games. What the fuck? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Do I have to build up speed before? This is so silly. How? Okay, so yeah, I just... Oh boy, okay. This is, uh... This was a creative decision that was made. There we go. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, this part is tricky. I don't blame you for having trouble with it. Uh, Rock Pierce Speed Breakable. Thank you, Tony. Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. Trap Inch. I kind of wish uh, Hilgon had that ability, but that's okay. Again, I think it changes once they evolve. Hell yeah. Weird. Okay. Uh, let's go up. Here it is. The two fossils. Which one do we take? The claw fossil? Or the root fossil? Claw or root fossil? Hmm. Part of me wants to look up what they evolve into. Part of me wants to just follow my gut. Thematically speaking. And I'm trying to compare this to the Nuzlocke run itself. Claw is inherently kind of attack based, revenge based, wrath. Root is more stable, defensive, more about our connections to things. I'm gonna go for the root fossil. Yes. I hope that was the right choice. Let's see what that becomes. I went for the peaceful option. Uh, it becomes Lilip. <laughs> So I know you can't see the leap. The leap is like kind of a interesting Pokemon, and then it becomes Cradley. Oh, I'm into this. Okay, cool. They kind of look like a an underwater creature, like a like a coral reef of sorts. But then they become like a strange worm. Okay, well. It's what springtime would have wanted, absolutely. Very ICA energy, the leap. Hey, thanks for joining me. So we got a fossil, that's exciting. Ooh, I wonder if we can go to the... Uh... I'm gonna wait until we have fly. I'm not like in a huge rush to animate our fossil Pokemon. Um, Cause we've got a pretty solid team already that I wanna focus on training.
So I say we, uh... I say we keep training in the desert and then maybe go back to Petalburg when we like want to continue the run or continue the story. Let me just double check uh, if anything happens in Petalburg. Um, oh, okay. So when we go back to Rustboro, we can go to Devon Corp and they will turn our Pokemon our fossil into a Pokemon. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I think uh, I think we have a good idea. I think we're just gonna train in the desert for a bit. Cause I feel like, other than Shenzi, I feel like everyone's like a little low. I wanna get everyone to like, oh wow, Hillgun's catching up. But I think we want to get everyone, like, at least a couple levels higher, so... Um... I'm actually gonna... How are you doing on experience? Not bad. Um, okay. I think we should try to get everyone to level 26. Before we press on. That feels right. And I feel pretty good about, uh, about our safety training in this area. Knock on wood, because I felt that way about other places, too. Actually, I'm going to try to get the Mirage Tower to pop back, because that's, like, the ideal training spot, in my opinion. Okay. There's no sandstorm to worry about. It's just sand shrews and trap inch. It's a good place. It's a good vibe. This is very Pokemon, running back and forth in a direction. I just got a, uh, a vivid memory of playing X and Y, and there's that like, long road by the river where the daycare center is, and I would just ride my bike up and down that road hatching Pokemon. There's a similar road in Sword and Shield where I hatched a lot, because at one point I was trying to hatch a shiny uh, Chandelure. Or I guess a shiny Litwick, but they evolved with the Chandelure. Love Chandelure, one of my favorite Pokemon. Ugh, a ghost candle? Come on, amazing. Ghost and fire, cool typing, cool design. Um, I think I had one. I think I had a shiny Chandelure eventually, but I think I might have gotten it in a trade and not actually bred it. I think they just have, like, orange fire. <laughs> it takes so long, and it's like, was this worth it? It's just, like, blue instead of being yellow or whatever. Hell yeah. Is Chandelure not popular? I love Chandelure. I like, um, I like Pokemon that are based on things that aren't animals, you know? As much as I love a good, you know, traditional design, I think, like, making a Pokemon out of, like, garbage or a candle is really funny and interesting to me. In Garboder's place, it's, like, kind of ironic. I do love Garboder, though. But in Chandelure's case, it's, like, just good design. I've hashed over a thousand EVs in Sword and Shield and no shiny yet. Yeah, it takes a long time. Like, actually, I did... I found a shiny Magikarp in the wild area in, uh... in Sword and Shield, and I also found, um... one other shiny. It was, like, a little bit easier just to find shinies in Sword and Shield, which is kind of cool, but the chance is still, like, unbelievably small. Which, you know, I know is the point, but, like... Come on. Can I have like a uh, a green Psyduck without wasting a year of my life? 
I actually don't know what shiny Psyduck is. Some of them are like not worth it at all. Like the shiny uh, Gengar is like slightly lighter purple. It's like, come on, this is a cruel joke. All right, if it doesn't show up in like a few more, speaking of, uh, of shiny hunting, we can just train in the desert, but I'd rather not have to deal with the sandstorm and stuff, you know? I got lucky with a shiny Litwick after 35 eggs. Wow, that's amazing. That's really lucky. Like almost winning the lottery levels of, of odds there. Okay. I think what we should do is we should um, check for Mirage Tower, fight someone, leave the route. That way we're at least getting some experience while we go back and forth. From what I know, uh, the next, pretty much every gym in this game, and in, especially in a Nuzlocke run, is like a big hurdle. But I know for a fact that Dad Norman is like absolutely a big deal. So we definitely want to be a proper level. I'm just trying to check to see how long I've been streaming for. About an hour. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So I think uh, I, I try to keep these at like two hours. I think what I'll probably do is, like, train for another hour, and then, uh, either head to Pedalberg or just, like, keep training. I don't mind a chill beat. I mean, we beat Flannery last time. I think we deserve, like, a low-key chapter in this adventure. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, when you're a kid, it's like, whatever. What's the big deal? And then you learn it's, like, one out of 30 million. Actually, uh, fun fact, when I bought my copy of, I think it was black and white. Or maybe it was Soul Silver. I don't know. It was one of those. I, I bought a copy of uh, black and, I think it was black and white. I bought a copy of black and white used in college. And when I opened the save file, they had every legendary and they were shiny. Which, like, they must have hacked it in some way. Um, and I didn't really care, so I deleted the save file to start my own game. So I'm like, I'm not gonna, like, as valuable as this is, I'm not gonna, like, go on game facts and, like, haggle with strangers to get a shiny Kyogre. But it was, like, <laughs> it was, like, shiny Mew, shiny uh, Rayquaza, everything. It was ridiculous. I probably could have sold that cartridge for something, but. I wanted to play. Another one of my favorite Pokemon from that generation was Solosis. Um, really big fan of that Pokemon. I forgot what their their final form is. A Ranculus? Something like that. Um, I just heard like a Pokemon cry. All right, we're good. Um, Ranculus is awesome. Like a cell Pokemon? Very cool. I liked 5th Gen a lot for the designs. I wasn't crazy about the starters. I didn't really like Embor. I didn't really like... Uh, what was the other one? There was like a seal. I liked Snivy. But I feel like he's like very Trico-esque. I do kind of like how snobby uh, Superior is. Also, I, I think that's what they're called. The, f the final form of Snivy, I learned recently. At first, I thought he was just a big snake with no arms. He has arms, but they're behind his back because he's posing like very regally, which I think is very fun. Fun fact for you. He was definitely... I usually go grass type, I've noticed, which I didn't even realize until recently. There was a... A while ago, people said, like, check off who your starter is, and, like, other than maybe, um, one or two generations, I always went grass. I think the only generation I didn't really like the grass type was, uh, 
Sun and Moon. I liked, um, you gotta go in, in uh, what's his name? Incineroar? Yeah. Incineroar is awesome. I do like the owl, I just don't like what they evolve into. And I forgot what the water type was. And Sun and Moon was good. I played Ultra Sun like a couple years after the fact. I actually started to do a Nuzlocke for it on my own. Um, it's kind of hard to do a Nuzlocke for Sun and Moon. But uh, it was fun. I really, I really, really, really like the setting. And I appreciate that they tried to kind of deviate from the formula a bit. I don't think it really worked as a whole, but it was a fun, it was a good entry. I don't think there's a bad game in like the mainline series, honestly. Um, yeah. I think I might do, I think I might stream a Nuzlocke of uh, Brilliant Pearl and Shining Diamond, or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl when they came, when they come out in, uh, December. I think by then, uh, hopefully we we'll, we will have completed this run, uh, but it will be over regardless. <laughs> uh, and you know that might be my next one I do. Uh, so look forward to that potentially. I love chatting. Um, while training, but I, I get like visions of Todd. So I need to pay. I need to make sure I don't divide my attention too much. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Um, if, if it operates the same way Diamond and Pearl did largely, uh, it should work fine. I'm really excited for those. I, I didn't really. I don't really remember Diamond and Pearl like at all, to be honest. I, the generation was cool, and they did a lot of good stuff mechanically. Um, but I don't really remember the setting or the story like at all, which is ironic because I played it so much. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'm not into this. Why does Sentry no poison sting? I'm not into this at all. The sandstorm doesn't hurt rock, steel, or ground type, I believe. Oh yeah, if it's your first one, it's gonna mean the world. Um, a lot of people really love that generation, so like, I, I'm excited to revisit it, especially as a remake. Um, I also love uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which are the fourth gen remakes of Gen 2. Red and Blue were my first, which like, you know, nostalgic. I think I think those are probably like objectively the weakest games, but it's hard to really properly judge like the first one, you know? Like even the jump from Red and Blue to Silver and Gold is huge in terms of just like quality of life and the game itself. But yeah, Diamond and Pearl was awesome. You could play online for the first time. That was definitely like when the multiplayer went from like my three friends at re recess via link cable to like I can actually just play online. Oh my god, you should do it. Second gen is tough, uh, cause you got, um, the, I feel like in any Nuzlocke, I feel like the first couple gyms are really like the make or break point. Cause you don't have, you only have so many Pokemon you can catch. And God, Whitney in that game. I think her name is Whitney. The normal type gym leader. That mill tank is like going to kill someone that you love. Oh yeah, totally. I think they all have something to, I mean, I I really love this whole series so much. Um, and I mean, they, they, for a long time, didn't really deviate too far from like 
a certain type of experience, so like whichever one was first will will mean a lot to you. Um, it really wasn't until X and Y that I think they like really dramatically changed things. Um, which I really liked at the time, but I, I do think I ultimately prefer this older style, like gens one through five. The X and Y was awesome. Big fan. Yeah, it's really... I, I forgot what else Whitney has, but the mill tank knows attract and roll out, and it can heal itself. Just <laughs> like a terrifying Pokemon. Um, your whole team will fall in love with the mill tank, and they'll get killed by an attack that progressively gets more powerful. Um, worth noting, if you do a Nuzlocke, it might be worth going for Soul Silver and Heart Gold over the originals because in the in the remix they actually added a wild Machop in the area outside of that city. Cause in the original game there was there was nothing you could catch that was like good against normal type. But at least in uh, the remix you have a chance of getting a Machop, which could help out a lot. Yeah I agree. I I, I also think like We've been playing a lot of stuff on Game Boy Advance for the podcast, and I just love, like, there's something so timeless about the Game Boy Advance and the Super Nintendo visually. Um, I've been playing Metroid Fusion. First of all, just an incredible game. I, I, I'm not super familiar with the Metroid series, and this one is, like, easily the one that's worked best for me. Um, and it's beautiful. It's, like, such a beautiful game. The way it plays with perspective when you're like in space in the cutscenes, amazing. You just beat Whitney in your Crystal Nuzlocke. Congrats! Wow, that's a huge landmark. Is the next one Ghost? Is it the next gym leader? Thankfully, Faulkner isn't too bad. He just has like a like a Pidgeotto or something. Okay, I think we could probably... I think we could put Ichiban in here. Okay, Ichiban some love. I got him a shot by trading in a wild Abra I caught. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Ghost Gym. Yeah, that's... God, they throw a lot at you in the beginning, don't they? <laughs> I've never done a, a Nuzlocke of the second gen. I mean, honestly, this one isn't isn't easy either. Because, like, the first three gyms are what? Rock, Fighting, and Thunder? Or Electric type? Which sounds, like, feasible, but... This game, I think, uh, they, they won up, like, the battle strategies. Like, it's not just about type as much as, like, certain moves or using the weather and stuff like that. Man, we lucked out getting Mirage Tower earlier. Hello. I like Hackmia. You just caught a Meowth that knows Bite. Oh, hell yeah. Ghost types tend to have pretty weak defensive stats, at least in the early generations, I think. Um, so Bite should get you pretty far. Uh, thankfully. Making Bite Dark type was such a good move. It was normal in, uh, Gens 1. Or just Gen 1, yeah. Trap inch.
Ichiban eventually learns uh, Ice Fang, which is gonna be like our move against uh, Dragon type. Once we have to face like whatever, I think one of the Elite Four uses Dragon type. There might even be some dragons in uh, the Flying Gym as well, which I think is after Dad Norman. One day at a time. We gotta defeat our dad first. Sorry, Dad Norman. It's you or me. <laughs> okay. Uh, where the hell is Mirage Tower? I just want to train against trap inches in peace without a sandstorm. This, like, first few notes of the song are going to be stuck in my head for a while. Let's get on our bike. Let's, I, let's speed this up. We've had some good talks. I've, I'm enjoying the energy of today. But I really want that Mirage Tower back. Hello, Sanshu. You've heard of shiny hunting. Get ready for Mirage Tower hunting. For real. Yeah. I'm amazed we got it so early. Come on, Ichiban. I know I said I want to get everyone to level 26, but I feel good about putting Ichiban out first in a way I don't feel about some of the others here. Although I think um, Tony should be alright once we get into the tower. It's just the sandstorm that worries me. Please. I just want the Mirage Tower. Who's ever asked that? Oh wait, does it disappear forever once we get the fossil? That might be what's happening. It might be. Yeah, I think I think that actually might have happened. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, well. got a shiny smoochum that hatched from an egg. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, bring up your crystal nuzlocke as much as you want. I love hearing about it. Truly. I I'm really happy other people are doing this. This is great. All right, I think let's just let's just train in the desert because I, I think that uh, their mirage tower might be gone forever. Oh shit. Oh, okay, we're good. We're water and flying, so I think it just balances out to nothing. Hell yeah. Wow, look at Hilgon. Sand Tomb. Yes. Traps and hurts foes in the quicksand for two to five turns. That's really good. Um, I'm gonna get rid of faint. Do you think it's worth having sand tomb over faint attack? I feel like probably yes. Because this is good. This is always helpful. Bite is just like standard damage for right now. Yeah, I think uh, I think faint attack we get rid of. Hell yeah. Look at Hillgun. Alright, let's maybe, um...
Did I say everyone should be at level 26? We're like, there. <laughs> okay, we're almost, yeah. Why don't we, um... Let's get Hilgon up a level again, and then uh, we can make our way back to Petalburg. I'm into that. You know what, I think we probably just head back. Let's, I think I've had enough of this desert. All right, let's check the nav. So, we can go this way. Yeah, that's probably the easiest. Through the fiery path to Fall Labor Town. Oh yeah, yeah, tra that's, Trap Inch is awesome. I'm really, really happy we got them. Check in our secret hideout for good luck. Hello everyone, this is my base. Check in with the team. Bold, adamant, careful. Impish, hasty, and mild. I love that. Fall Arbor. I, I keep saying Fall Labor. <laughs> Sorry. Fall Arbor. That's what it is. Thank you. Uh, let's rest up at this person's house. Yeah, man. We got a trap inch. I named him Hillgun. Let's check the TV. All right. Oh yeah, this place. Oh shit, it's gonna be Spinda, isn't it? Oh my God! I gasped. That was that was genuine. Oh my You're telling me in the same patch of grass we got it, Sammy. We could have gotten a scarfery. <gasps> oh One day, my friend. I'll see you soon. Oh my god, I love Skarmory so much. Are they gonna show up again just to rub it in? No, yeah, of course. I know everyone loves it, Sammy, but like... <sighs> Woof. Okay, we are in Full Arbor Town. Yeah, I think it's really rare. Um, okay, and then we can go down here again. 114? Have we been here before? What was on this route? Oh yeah, we've definitely been here before. One fourteen is where we got this is where we got Captain. Yeah, I I remember this place. And here's where we got Apollo. Zubat is one of the few Pokemon I know, like, the in-game cries of. 
this unconsciously. How do we feel about Woo Bat? They, I think they added Woo Bat in uh, X and Y. Uh, okay, we're almost there. Oh yeah, we can get a. Uh, once we're in Rustboro, we can go to Devon Corp and revive our fossil. Yeah, the Meteor Falls music is awesome. We're back in Monsanto and we can get a new fossil Pokemon. Hello. Woobat is cute. Yeah, I agree. I like Woobat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no problem. Oh, excuse me. Why don't we, while we're here... Is everyone healed up? Yeah. Alright, cool. Haven't been here in a while. Brings back memories. What is here? Oh yeah, the flower shop, right. Never picked up on the gross Silicon Valley tech bro vibes of Devon. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Oh my god, it's the person who killed Gretel. Goodbye. Oh my god, Mr. Briny. Um, I'm nostalgic for like a few weeks ago. Where's Mr. Briny? Fly out at sea. where we caught Sedith. Look how far we've grown. I like that they make you go back to old areas. Very nice. A man in pursuit of power. That's our dad. Dad's advice? What? I didn't hit anything. What is happening? Yeah, we need more. Actually, I think what might be good is... Uh, I imagine we could probably, like, go into the gym and fight some of the trainers, you know? Right? Like, I don't, I don't think that's a huge, uh... I can't imagine they're, like, super high level. We got Shenzi. I'm gonna put Shenzi out just to, like, kind of scout out what's going on. Let's see what's going on in the gym. Hey, how's it going, champion bound Steven? Whoops. The door on the left leads to the speed room, accuracy room. Wait, what? Use all kinds of items. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm gonna go for the accuracy room, I think. Yeah. Can we leave, or is it... Okay, we can leave. Good. We'll, we'll fight the first trainer to see what's up. This is the accuracy room. I might regret this, but speed room scared me. Oh no, it's cool trainer Mary. Delcaddy! Okay, so they're level 26. We might want to uh, turn tail and do a bit more training before we go back in here, but... Shockwave? Excuse me. This Delcaddy is, is uh, scary to me. I don't like that it knows Shockwave. Or that cool trainer Mary used Hyper Potion. I don't even have Hyper Potions. I have no money.
It is a normal type GMB. I think it's more like about strategy and stuff. Okay, let's heal up. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think, um... So now that we know, like, what's ahead of us, I think I might sign off for today. Uh, I think next time what we'll do is we'll have, like, a nice training montage uh, in the desert. And uh, then go back and try to go through the gym. Um, I can't imagine... I don't think Norman's Pokemon are, like, super high level above us. But I'd obviously like to get everyone to, like, high 20s, low 30s. That would feel better to me, I think. We got Hillgon, a new addition to the team. Very excited about their... Actually, I think we should evolve. If we can get Hillgon evolved and, you know, get everyone higher level, that would be ideal. So, yeah, next time we'll be training. Take on the fifth gym, and then after the fifth gym, uh, it's gonna be we're we're in the in the latter part of the game. We're gonna be slowly but surely approaching the elite four. Some like legendary stuff, s story stuff with uh, Team Aqua and Team Magma. We're nearly there, friends. We've come so far. Uh, I'm very proud of us. So yeah, I will see you all real soon. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you as well. I will see you all in like uh, two to four days, I guess. <laughs> Have a wonderful night or day or afternoon. Talk to you soon. Bye.